What's going on, YouTube world? Today, we're going to be talking about items I found at Goodwill to sell on eBay. We're even going to talk about an item I found that I was able to sell for almost 20 times what I paid for it within 24 hours. Let's get into the video. Tell me about yourself. My name is Jason, a.k.a. Mr. Llama, the not-so-better half of the Lazy Llamas, which is the eBay store that I run with my wife, Mrs. Llama. My wife and I have owned a gym for almost nine years, and we started reselling on eBay about three years ago. And we grew our business from zero to over $10,000 a month in sales in less than two years. Okay, going to Goodwills and thrift stores to find items to sell on eBay is part of an eBay business. Most eBay resellers, when they first start out, do thrift stores, Goodwills, and yard sales as a major part of sourcing for items that they sell. And you should not feel bad about thrifting and shopping at Goodwills to find items. I'm so ashamed. Goodwill does not exist to offer low prices to low-income families. That is not their mission statement. Goodwill's mission statement is to provide employment for people who have a hard time finding employment and giving them training to help them develop and enter the workforce. That's Goodwill's mission statement, and I'll put it up here on the screen for you. So don't feel bad about buying items at Goodwill and flipping them for profit. There's nothing wrong with it. I feel so much better. You shopping at Goodwill actually helps Goodwill because that's how they make money to employ people and that is their mission statement. Okay, one category that's great to source from Goodwills is shoes. Shoes? You can usually find at least a few pairs of shoes that are worth reselling at Goodwills when you go in. So that's usually the first place that I will go is shoes and I will look for certain brands. Now, I am not a shoe expert. That is not my main focus on eBay. My main focus is video games, video game consoles, video games. So that's the category I know best, but I know enough to know a few brands to look for and a good brand to look for. And the first one we're going to go over here is Brooks. Uh, at this Goodwill, I found a pair of Brooks Dyad 7 women's shoes, size eight and a half. I paid $6 for them. Uh, comps were between $30 and $35. I will probably list them for $24.99 plus shipping or $34.99 with free shipping. And after fees, I will stand to make my profit between $20 and you know around $20 probably, $20 to $23. So with a $5 investment, I'm going to I'm gonna make $20 to $23, so at least four times my money. So to me, that's a decent investment. Not all eBay resellers would would have gotten these shoes. So that's their loss. They're not going to sell extremely fast. They will probably sit, uh, but they don't take up a lot of space. They're not hard to list, uh, but they will sell eventually. And I will turn that $5 into 20 to $23. Another really good shoe brand to look for is Merrill. Anytime I see a pair of Merrill shoes, I will usually pick them up. Of course, check comps because, you know, some shoes sell better than others, but Merrill is usually a pretty good brand. Uh, so if you see them, uh, check comps on them because it will probably a, be a good buy. Uh, these shoes uh, have listed comps in the $40 to $50 range, sold comps in the $40 to $50 range. I will list them for probably $39.99 plus shipping uh, or $49.99 with free shipping, and I only paid eight dollars for them so after shipping and fees i stand to make anywhere from 30 to 35 dollars with an eight dollar investment so merrill is definitely a brand worth looking for turning eight dollars into 30 to 35 dollars is a win okay after shoes the next section i hit at goodwill is electronics and i want to put out a bolo for you guys so if you're out if you're at a thrift store if you're at a yard sale a goodwill doesn't matter if you see a vcr pick it up vcr check of course check comps, you know, make sure it works, that kind of stuff. But VCRs have a decent resale value and you can usually find them pretty cheap. This was more true when I first started selling on eBay a few years ago. I used to find them all the time for like five or six dollars, especially at Goodwills. Um, that's not the case anymore. I guess the word got out and I started seeing them less and less and less. Uh, so, but you can still find them and you can still find them pretty cheap. I found at this Goodwill a Sharp VCR uh, model VC410U. Um, 
it w- I got it for eight dollars, and listed comps were around fifty, uh, sold comps around forty. Uh, we'll probably list it at thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. I will probably even throw in a new sealed blank VHS tape. I have a lot of those laying around, uh, so I, if I have a VCR, I'll just throw one in as as a, a free gift uh, with purchase kind of thing. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, so I'll probably throw in a free blank VHS tape with this at thirty nine ninety nine. Uh, plus shipping. So the next section that I will hit after I leave the electronics section is toys and board games. Ah, sweet board games. There are board games out there that you can get from thrift stores, Goodwills, yard sales that you can flip and make decent money off of, especially if they're new sealed. And you will find these at Goodwills. You will find brand new games sealed at Goodwills. What? You can also find vintage games at Goodwills. Uh, more so before than now, it seems like like when I first started selling on eBay, Goodwills were a much better source of inventory than they are now, but they are still a good or at least decent source of inventory, uh, and you can still find good stuff there. And I found a brand new sealed Pictionary board game. I picked it up for $3.00. Uh, and it sold for 16 within, you know, the first day. I think I listed it for 18 plus shipping. I got a offer of 14. I counted it at 16 and the buyer accepted. Uh, so after fees, I'll make $14. So I turned that $3 into $14 within a day. <clears throat> so now after I leave the toy and board game section, I will just go through the main aisles. Uh, and I'm looking for anything that's in a box. In a box? that has a barcode, uh, anything. If it's new sealed, I'm scanning the barcode and looking it up uh, and seeing you know, what it, if, if there are any listings and if they're selling. Uh, and one thing I did find is this, these, this is, these were all wrapped up as one. I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand. I think it's Oster maybe, Oster. Uh, Titan Turbo 77 replacement blades. These are for like hair clippers. Um, I saw this pack. The whole pack was eight dollars, and I think each one of these I could sell for twenty. Uh, so this is sixty dollars uh, in inventory that I got for eight bucks. So that's that was a good find. So look for anything new in a box, uh, and apparently look for replacement uh, blades for hair clippers because apparently they can be worth money. Never bought the, anything like that before, but you know. I always scan a barcode. If it's got a barcode on it, in a Goodwill, I'm scanning it. Another thing that you can look for, <laughs> it's going to sound funny, but I look for things that look like items that were in the house when I was a kid. I am going to be 43 years old this year. I was born in 1980. Uh, so if I see little figurines that look like something my mom would have had when I was a kid in the house, I will look it up because some of this stuff is vintage and some of it can be worth a decent amount of money. Uh, it's got a description of what it is on the bottom, so I was very easily able to look it up. I got this for $4. This is not something that's going to sell very quickly, but it will sell and, and I can make some money off of it. So, um, or I might give it to my mom. Who knows? She likes this stuff, but, um, well, she used to. I don't know if she does anymore, but, <clears throat> but no, I, I will probably list this for sale. It'll sit for a while, but it will eventually sell. Um, I, I don't do a lot of this stuff, and when I you, when you do this kind of stuff, resell this kind of stuff on eBay, you got to make sure you're, of course, shipping it uh, very protected because this stuff can chip and break very very easily. So you are taking on a bit of a risk in shipping with something like this. Uh, but I've done you know some in the past, and I haven't had any issues. Um, <clears throat> but again, look for vintage knickknacks. Just and just because something's old, I found some other. Uh, porcelain knickknacks uh at a goodwill that were vintage uh early 90s stuff uh and they were not worth picking up so but always do your research and look it up but that is definitely something that i look out for uh is vintage knickknacks and and porcelain you know uh, figurines and stuff another thing i look out for are branded mugs i have no idea what this this is uh, paul anner munchen munchen uh, but anytime I see a logo or something like this on a mug, I'll look it up. I picked up this, uh, there was a couple of mugs. Uh, they were $4 each. I uh, looked up comps on them and there were sold comps on them for, you know, decent money. Uh, so again, I will list these. They might sit for a while, uh, but definitely something worth looking out for. Uh, I also found one with like a A&W uh, restaurant 
uh, logo on it, and I picked that one up too. So branded mugs, definitely something worth keeping a lookout for. Another thing I found was a mini Coca-Cola fridge, and always look out for Coca-Cola items. Any Coca-Cola branded item is definitely worth looking up. Coca-Cola is very, very collectible. So uh, do you like Coca-Cola? So when you find stuff like this, always look it up. Now, I was a little disappointed in comps with the refrigerator, but the refrigerator was $4.99. It did not have a power cord, but I knew I had a power cord at the house. So I took the gamble. I bought the mini refrigerator, took it home, used the cord that I had for it, and it worked perfectly. Uh, I've, <clears throat> I've already got it listed. Uh, I think I've already got a, wa a watcher on it, maybe two. Uh, it will probably sell fairly quickly. Okay, we're going to interrupt the video here for just a second. That Coca-Cola fridge that I was talking to you about sold. I was editing this video and popped up on the screen that this has sold for full price. So, like I said, Coca-Cola stuff is good stuff to look for. Back to the video. But Coca-Cola is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Okay, so finally we're going to go over the item that I was able to sell for 20 times what I paid for it that I found at a Goodwill. But first, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it does help us out, and uh, hit notification bell so you can see future videos that we post. Now this is an item I found in the electronic section, and it's a Dymo Thermal Label Printer, 450 Turbo. And I picked it up for $6.00. I listed it immediately after returning to the studio and getting it tested for 140 free shipping. And it sold within four hours, full price. And after fees and shipping, I will make about $110 on this. So I turned $6 into $110. Uh, and I will take that any day of the week. So this is one of those really good finds. They don't happen extremely often. But they do happen, um, and so be on the lookout for these. I've found, I think, three of these printers uh, over the course of my three-year eBay career, uh, and each one of them has sold for major profit. I found two at Goodwills, and I found another at like a rummage sale. It was like in a, <laughs> it was in a barn. In a barn? Uh, on somebody's property, and they just had a ton of random stuff in there, and this was on a shelf with like gardening tools or something it was so random that one of these printers was sitting on a shelf complete uh with every all the cables uh in this rummage sale and i think i got it for like three dollars be on the lookout for dymo uh label printers they do have a very high uh resale value so when you go to goodwills always make sure you go to shoes electronics toys board games and then just up and down the aisles, anything that's got a barcode on it, scan it because it's very quick and easy to look up. It, you never know. Uh, there's so much random stuff in a Goodwill, you never know what something's going to sell for. Always check your comps, listed comps, you know, currently listed items, your co competition, what they're listed for on average, and then go to your sold comps, see what they're selling for, and how many have sold in the last 30 days to so make sure that it's going to be a good item to sell. And we're going to end the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And in case you don't know, God loves you, I love you, and we'll see you next time. Peace.